Let's talk about the Euclidean algorithm. So this is a technique used to compute greatest common divisors. So here's the algorithm from the notes. You might ask, why bother? Can I just factor a and b if I want to compute the greatest common divisor of a and b? Well, you can if a and b are small enough, but in general, factoring is a hard, hard problem. This algorithm allows you to compute GCDs using addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication. So let's go through the algorithm in the context of an example. So it takes as input two natural numbers a and b, and it's going to output the greatest common divisor of a and b. So I'll put my scratch work down here. Let's work through the example where we compute the GCD of 57 and 21. And so a is 57 and b is 21. So I enter the repeat loop. The first step is to let r be a mod b. So r is going to be 57 mod 21, which is 15, because 57 can be expressed as 2 times 21 plus 15. Next, I let a equal b, and I'll let b equal r. So if you notice, I just shifted those two numbers on the bottom uh, up one notch. I check, is r equal to 0? So 15, is it equal to 0? No. And so I go back to the top of the repeat. And now I need to compute a mod b, so 21 mod 15. This is 6. Since 6, uh, 21 is 1 times 15 plus 6. Right? 6 is the remainder. I write that in for r, and I move to the next step. And this is where I move those two numbers up. So I'll let a equal b and I'll let b equal r, and then I check, is r equal to 0? So 6 is not 0, and so I move back up to the top of the repeat loop. I need to compute a mod b, so 15 mod 6, this is 3, since 15 is 2 times 6 plus 3, and then I move to the next step. Right? This is where I'm going to move those two numbers up. So I'll let a equal b, and I'll let b equal r, and then I check, is r equal to 0? 3 is not 0, and so I move back up to the top of the repeat loop. And now I need to compute a mod b. So 6 mod 3 is 0, because 6 is 2 times 3, with no remainder. And now I let a equal b, b equal r, and then I check, is r equal to 0? Well, 0 is equal to 0, and so I go to the next step, which is the last step, which is to return the current value of a. So remember, we're outputting the GCD of a and b, uh, of the inputs, and this output is the GCD, so it's a 3. So the greatest common divisor of 57 and 21 is 3.